Let's talk about the one surprise that did not happen this weekend. Or something that happened this weekend that I am totally unsurprised by. You know what that is? The Cowboys, Cowboys. Now, I know that I've given a lot of flack to the Atlanta Falcons. And, you know, that, that's my home team. Born and raised in Atlanta, huge Falcons fan. And I always talk about the Falcons. And I say, well, you know, a Falcon gun Falcon. And you know the Falcon and, and all that. But, man, really? Man, the Cowboys going to Cowboy. Good gracious. All the pomp and circumstance and the high hopes and all of that. And you know what? I'm really not so much focused on the Cowboys themselves as a team as I am the Cowboys fans. You could not tell a Cowboys fan last week nothing. Z roll. But nothing you could tell them at the beat of Tampa Bay. But now I know why. It's because deep down, with all of their bravado and all of their pride, and how about them boys and a Flint 13 Jordans and you know, all, all you know, all of that, they still have reservations deep down about whether they can win the big game. Today was it. The 49ers versus the Cowboys was the big game. Something straight out of the 90s, you know, like since the last time I've been involved in or that much invested into a Cowboys versus 49ers game. And they laid an egg. Had opportunity after opportunity. Um, I will say this to their credit, man, Tony Pollard going out really, really hurts their game because having that explosive threat in the backfield um, is really important to what they do as an offense. But i also say, I don't think it would have mattered. The 49ers are the real deal. Brock Purdy has that offense doing exactly what it's supposed to do. And I think that people don't really realize how good Fred Warner really is the middle linebacker or the uh, inside linebacker for the 49ers, he, 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 he's phenomenal. I say this. There was a play in the game. Warner, is uh, he's at the line of scrimmage, and he's playing. Uh, he has, I guess he has like the middle, middle of the field, um, has the middle third or whatever. And he's on the line uh, showing blitz. C.D. Lamb is in the slot. He turns around. C.D. Lamb runs like a seam post type route straight up the middle of the field. Um, and uh, Warner runs, be, gets off of the line of scrimmage, runs stride for stride with C.D. Lamb, who's probably a top five receiver in the game right now, and is there to make the play. A linebacker, 240 pounds. That play right there let me know. That it didn't matter if Pollard played or not because you had the type of linebackers that it takes in order to kind of counteract Pollard's speed and agility. So the better team won today. Even though it was only 19 to 12 and everybody betting who took the over, I feel your pain because I got towed up this weekend betting. We'll talk about the game that towed me up in a minute. But the 49ers Cowboys game really kind of went how, how I thought it would when it comes to the win or loss column. And the Eagles and the 49ers have been the class of the NFC, NFC for the entire year. And I think it shook out the way it was supposed to. So to those Cowboy fans who've been talking trash, to my cousin Chip, Drew Carnes, who's been talking trash about the Cowboys and just all oh, the Falcons at home on the couch and yeah, this and yeah, that. So we made room for you on the couch. And, uh, Chip, I got a special surprise for you. I'm probably going to have Dak Prescott on my show because clearly he ain't got nothing else to do. 